dear Heavenly Father who are in heaven, I come to you today with the burden of those who are in mourning from the loss of their loved ones, not just around this world you created, but especially for your children, whom some are parents that lost their loved ones from the unfortunately tragedy on the military base of Fort Wood located in Texas. Father, we never know how the next hour may have an impact on our lives, but we do know, Father, you are our creator, our Father in heaven. Father, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, who died at Calvary for our salvation. And Father, as this nation mourned together for the loss of these loved ones and the daily loss of many other lives, we ask you through your Son, Jesus Christ, that you protect our young men and women who are in our military forces as this nation once again come together in your name, Father, for healing. Father, we thank you for your love, patience, and forgiveness that you so faithfully provided to each one of us as we walk individually the journey of salvation. My Heavenly Father, we know that you know many of us fall short of your demands and comings. But Father, I ask you this day and this hour to forgive all for their sins, including my own Father. Many of us find ourselves lost like our beloved brother, the prodigal sons. Father, I do know you have provided us with simple instructions. By believing you in your Son, Jesus Christ, simply by accepting you, praising you, worshiping you, and living by your words through your Son, Jesus Christ, whom is of the Holy Spirit. Father, we know we can't do anything without you. And yet sometimes we find ourselves among ungodly brothers and sisters confronted daily with temptations, trials, and tribulations far beyond the uncontrollable reach of our minds, body, and souls. So, Father, as being a servant of yours, I ask of you this day that you heal this nation from north to south, from east to west, providing love and peace from the highest mountain to the lowest valley. I ask this day, Father, that you send angels around the globe of this earth to touch the minds of all leaders so that they will be able to search the depths of their hearts so their minds can come together as one and agree that now is the time for leaders to find respect for the survivors of mankind. A respect that no man, woman or child will have to live in a world that used weapons of mass destruction. A world that built arsenal to kill and turn against one another. A world that allowed greed and power to betray trust in one another and even worse to sidestep your command of our Father of Righteousness. Last but least, my Heavenly Father, I have a special request, a request that you continue to bless our beloved Christian brother, President Barack Obama and the First Family. We know the responsibility he, his wife, and children bears could all have been made possible in providing them the strength to carry such a burden through your blessings. I ask you to continue to rely upon them Obama, the love for this country, the compassion for his enemies, the strength to carry on, the ability to make honorable decisions, and most important, my Heavenly Father, that this Christian brother and leader never lose vision of his three most biblical priorities, his unconditional love for you, his unconditional love for his wife, Michelle Obama, and most important, his unconditional love to his two beautiful daughters. This I ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen.